Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night tonight. Tonight, I wanna talk about playlists, how to create a playlist and how to organize it on your front page of your YouTube channel. Playlists are extremely important uh, to get more subscribers and just in fashion of getting your front page looking good and how you have it organized. Uh, the other thing is, if you, I have a few other videos about playlists, take a look at the cards in the top right-hand corner. I also uh, have some other stuff you might be interested to so take a look at some free downloads uh, remember I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel now let's take a look at playlist So there's a few different ways you can create playlists. I'm just gonna show you the way I create them. I'm in the new layout here, YouTube. Uh, when I click on Creator uh, Studio, it's gonna bring me to where I wanna go. But for, before I do that, make sure you're logged in to your YouTube channel. You can see I'm logged in with my Teacher's Tech uh, logo on here. If I click on it, you can see this. Uh, the other thing is over, over here on this side, uh, you can see uh, all the different playlists that I have. If you're gonna take a look at the shortcut in the new layout, out uh, it's over here on this side I'm just gonna go ahead and close this I'm gonna go ahead and hit creator studio and this is going to be bring me back to the way uh, the creator studio normally looks and I'm under video manager but where I want to go to is playlist I'm just gonna click on playlist and I'm gonna go ahead and create new playlist right away you can see all the other playlists that I have created I'm just gonna go ahead and click new playlist and I'm just gonna call this one example here. So uh, before I create this, take a look at how you want it to be created. You can create it as public, unlisted, or private. Public, anybody can see it. Unlisted, you would need the link to it. And private, uh, only you can see it. So I'm just gonna keep this one public. I'm gonna delete it at the end to show you how to get rid of a playlist also. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create on this one and uh, it brings me to this page, but I still need to hit edit to do some more things to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit edit here, and it brings me to a place where I can modify my playlist. Uh, if I want to hover over here, you can see, I can change the name to example just by hovering it and clicking the pencil, and I could add a, a, a change it, I could delete it and add something else to it. Uh, I could add a description, very important. If you're after trying to be found more on YouTube, make sure you write a solid description with the key words in it. Uh, as I mentioned before, playlists are very important too. Every time you create a uh, playlist, it creates another ID, like an upload almost to a video. So I've seen examples where they talk about, make sure you're creating lots of playlists. Uh, if you're regularly uploading to videos, but make sure you create regular playlists too. Uh, this will help you be found and help with the algorithm of YouTube. So this is where you would write your uh, uh, description. I'm just going to put this as an example here. And if I click off it, you can see it closes up. Uh, you have a few different options. You can I can share this out if you uh, take this. So what I like to do sometimes with my playlist, I can take this link right here and copy this. Uh, I can also embed it or I could even email it out. Um, some, with my students I know, I'll make a, a group and then I'll put the group name and I can put a message and send uh, the whole playlist right to their emails here. Uh, just going back to share, you can see allow people with a link to add videos so you can collaborate. I'll get in more detail about collaboration on a different video that I have. As I said, just check the cards for other playlist videos that I have. I, I'm gonna just add videos to this right away here. Actually, one just once uh, before I do that, uh, also you have your playlist settings here, and this is what I'll get into a little bit more um, before this with some organize, organization factor of uh, your um, of your videos too inside your playlist. Uh, so adding videos to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead over here to add some videos. This, you might not have this because I actually have TubeBuddy installed on my YouTube account. Uh, so if you don't have that installed, you're not going to see these things right here. So I'm just going to get go ahead and hit this one, add videos. You have some a few different ways you can add videos. You can do a video search. You could, if you had the URL, you could copy paste it in here, or you could have uh, your YouTube videos. So in this example, I'm just going to use my YouTube videos. If I'm selecting multiple ones, I could hold, let's say I click the first one and, the, and these ones, you can see if I can click on different, uh, different ones as I go through here. here. 
Uh, so let's say I'll just click these ones. I'll click a few more, just add a bunch of different ones and I'm going to hit add videos. So it's going to just take a second and then it populates with all the videos. So the next thing is you can actually change the order of these. So I can hover over to the side and drag them up or down. So maybe there's a specific one you want to be a front, maybe a more popular or better one. And you want it to be, make sure it comes up first in your playlist. When you have it on your front page, you can reorder them here too. Uh, so just a simple way, just drag, uh, drag and drop them to where you wanted to. You can also go back and add videos, uh, more videos too. So now that I have my playlist created, I want to go to my front page and add it onto my front page. So I'm just going to go uh, to, uh, I'm just going to go this way and click on home. Oops, I'm just going to go forget which one I'm in here. So I'm going to go to my channel. And now that I'm on my home, I'll just close this here, right here. And then I'm going to make sure I want to edit my front page. So I'm in the new layout here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit layout. And it's going to bring me back to the old look again. But when I scroll down to the very bottom of it, you're going to see something called add section. So when I add a section here, I have uh, some information I can add. I can add my playlist or videos. So you can see a whole a bunch of different things you can add. I'm going to add a playlist. I'm just going to go single playlist on this one and I can actually choose the play playlist that I just created. So I have a choice. I could have copied the URL uh, before what I showed you, but what usually I do is just go find playlist and all my playlists are listed there. But if you can't find it, just type what it was called and you can see that it came up there. So uh, there's the different videos I have in it uh, on this one. If I hit done, you can see it's placed in here. So if you came to my page right now, this example page would be here. But as I said, I'm going to delete this later. You can move it up or down too. So if I wanted it to go up, I can move it up through the page to pick whatever order. Uh, maybe uh, you want to change it around a little bit to kind of show playlist uh, in different fashions. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of a different thing. You can see on this YouTube help how I have it laid out in vertical versus the horizontal. Um, I like to do that in case uh, you get a lot of videos. It just breaks up the page. It's very easy to uh, change if you uh, hit the pencil. You can see I have it under a vertical list. Uh, if I had a horizontal list, uh, it would just lay down like this. But I like uh, I like the look of the vertical list kind of in the middle of the page to break things up. So when you get it the way you want it, just hit done. So going back to my example one that I have here, let's say I don't want this one on the page anymore. Just uh, hover over the pencil, hit the pencil. You can see you have a garbage can there click the garbage can and it's gone. But it's off my front page, but it's not a deleted playlist. The playlist still exists. So what I need to do at this point is I'm just going to go back uh, to uh, my channel here. I'm just going to go back here to my channel and then over just to Creator Studio again and then back to my playlist. There's different ways you can get around. Uh, there, you know, uh, Manage yourself to jump around, uh, especially in the new layout. Uh, you might, uh, I know for myself, I haven't quite uh, found all the different shortcuts to different places yet. Uh, but so I have the playlist here. Here's my example one. I'm gonna go to edit my playlist. And now I want to hit edit one more time. And you can see right here, up, I can delete this playlist right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this playlist and it asked me if I want to delete it and I'm going to say yes, delete it. And now the playlist is gone. It's out of my uh, all my playlist. I'm just going to go back to my front page again and close this down. And so you can see, very easy to add your playlist, to add videos to your playlist, and it adds a lot to your channel. So I hope you like this tip tonight about playlists and setting it up on your front page. If you have, make sure you share it with a few other people. As I said, I have a few other uh, videos about playlists with collaboration and organization. Check out the card. Uh, that might help you out a bit too. Thanks so much for watching this week. And like I said, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.